Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallin released a statement about the botched execution in her state yesterday, and it was a really weird and really transparent, incredibly nonsensical statement that I think tells you something interesting about human psychology. She said they, quote, lawfully carried out a sentence of death, justice was served, and the people of Oklahoma do not have blood on their hands. Okay, that statement absolutely smacks of guilt. It's like, who are you trying to convince? And also, what you're saying is obviously not true. But probably the best part is the psychological aspect of this that fascinates me to no end. Because what she's doing is saying, we have a moral pass. Okay? In other words, we are the good guys despite our action. You know? So a good way to think about this is imagine if a botched execution like this came out of Iran and we were reading a story in Reuters or some other international uh, news source that said, yeah, in Iran they botched an execution, a guy's artery burst, he was screaming, oh man, uh, it took him 40 minutes to die, he was writhing in pain and clenching his teeth and... Uh, it was just an all-around insane situation. He tried to lift his head at multiple parts. They called off the execution after they already gave the injections because they were like, Oh, something fucked up, man. We didn't do this right. This is a problem here. Imagine if th that kind of story with the exact same details came out of Iran. How would we respond? What would our reaction be? I mean, who are we kidding if we think our reaction would be anything other than, ah, look at these guys over there, man. They're just primitive. It's just how they are. You know how they are. Those crazy Muslims and their immoral savagery. I mean, they act like barbarians. What do they think? This is the 12th century. You're killing people and fucking up like it's nothing. I mean, look at you. Look at you clowns. What's wrong with you? You got to be civilized. You know, well, welcome to the... To the year 2014. Welcome to the westernized world. We don't do like we don't do that. We're above that, right? But not only in the U.S. in Oklahoma did they botch an execution terribly, and did they use an untested drug because the European company that sold the old mixture stopped making it. They also release an embarrassing statement like this after they do it. Who are you kidding, man? Who are you kidding? I, when people think that their words can override the reality of the situation, it drives me nuts, you know? It's the old, who are you going to believe? Me or your lying eyes? I believe my lying eyes because, in fact, they're not lying. You're lying. Your words are lying. See, this is something, I was thinking a lot about this earlier, because we see this in so many stories that we cover on Secular Talk. And I came up with a, a term for the people who are prone to thinking in this way. I call them inverted thinkers. Okay, now why do I call them inverted thinkers? What, what, what's the significance and relevance of that? What does it mean? Well, it means that you think in the opposite way that you're supposed to think. It's inverted. So in other words, you have your conclusion, and then you got to try to make the facts fit what your conclusion already is. Now, if you're a rational person, if you're a scientist, okay, if you're somebody who is involved in gathering evidence for anything, if you're, you know, somebody who's a detective who needs to figure out a crime or something, the way it works is you gather all the evidence and you let the evidence pile on itself until you come to a conclusion, and then you figure out whether or not your conclusion is right or wrong. What these inverted thinkers do is they start with the conclusion first. They do it backwards. So Mary Fallon is going, we are moral. Oklahoma is moral. I am moral. The state is moral. The death penalty is moral. We are, are administering justice. And now I will work backwards to try to make all the facts fit the conclusion. Okay? And then what happens? You end up looking so stupid. Stupid, because the facts are overwhelmingly lined up on the other side of this debate. Okay? And look, here's the thing, man. History doesn't give a shit about your rationalizations. You know? That's something that drives me crazy. Like, people think, again, their words can override the reality of something. But you're not going to be around forever to defend your actions.
So 300 years from now, 400 years from now, if we're still around, there's going to be some textbook in some country, when it, whoever the next superpower happens to be, and they're going to be sitting down reading their books, and they're going to say, hmm, yeah, the fall of America was a really interesting thing to watch. One of the things that they did is they became more savage-like between invading a country that didn't attack them in Iraq and overthrowing the government and occupying it for over 10 years. Uh, between having Guantanamo Bay and doing torture and having their 900 military bases and doing all these different things, right? And there's going to be a part in the book that says, and they would botch executions and pretend like they did nothing wrong. So do you want to be the moral people or do you want to be the immoral people? That's my question. You know? you know how moral people react to when they see something like this happen? Oh my goodness. The governor should have said, I am embarrassed for Oklahoma. I am embarrassed by what we did. We're going to address the problem and make sure nothing like this ever happens again. And maybe we should reconsider institutional, the institutional death penalty and we should join the rest of the modern world. But even if, if you don't go that last step and say we should get rid of the death penalty, at least admit a mistake when you made one. So that in the history books, people could say, well, at least they acknowledge what they did was terrible and wrong. Because what they're doing here is just, no, we didn't do anything wrong. We know we're right. We know we're just. We know we're moral. Even when we do the exact opposite of a moral thing. No, no, we're still moral. We're still good. We're still uh, reasonable people. Again, imagine if it was the government of Iran that botched an execution like this and then said, no, no, it went, well, that's how we like it. We did, there's no blood on our hands. What are you talking about? In the West, we would go, ha ha, you fucking savage idiots. Who are you kidding? But when it's our people, we're supposed to pretend like that's legitimate? No, it's not legitimate in either scenario. And Oklahoma, I'm sorry, and Governor Mary Fallen, you are an embarrassment to, to the United States of America.